Before we start this video, please be aware that there are obviously spoilers for Fatal Frame 5 in here. If you're trying to avoid those before the remaster's release, maybe wait before watching this one. With that said, let's get right into it. Perhaps the single most controversial decision ever made in the entire Fatal Frame series was the decision to have Hinasaki Miku and Hinasaki Mafuyu, full-blooded siblings, have a child. This decision has baffled and annoyed many, bringing up questions of why it had to be done in the first place and whether there weren't other potential fathers the creators could have gone with to get a Hinasaki shadowborn child. So, this week, we're going to take a look at the original plans and see if they would have been any better. Should Amakura K have actually been Miyu's father? Hinasaki Miku conceived Miyu during the end of Fatal Frame 3 when she was in the manner of sleep with Mafuyu. Miku was basically a broken shell of a person after her brother chose to stay behind in the Himuro mansion to help keep the Hellgate there closed and she never really recovered from it. Mafuyu's old buddy, Asol Yu, took Miku in due to a promise he made Mafuyu long ago and, alongside his fiance Kurosawa Dei, took care of this lost girl with no family left. During the events of Fatal Frame 3, three characters are sucked into the Manor of Sleep's curse after Yu dies. First is Dei, Yu's fiancé who sees him around the haunted abode. Second is Miku, who sees Mafuyu. And third is Amakura Kei, the uncle of Mio and Mayu from the second game who is trying to save his niece. Towards the end of the game, Miku apparently gives in and chases after her brother, forsaking a life without him to instead be with his ghost in the afterlife. Nei is able to break the Manor of Sleep's curse before Miku is gone forever, however, and brings both her and Kei back alive and well. It was during this time that Miku disappeared to be with Mafuyu in her dream that Miyu was conceived. Whether this was done the traditional way or some sort of ghostly shenanigans is thankfully never explored, but regardless of what happened, Miku got pregnant with Mafuyu's baby and then, nine months later, gave birth to Miyu in the real world. Naturally, none of this is discovered until Fatal Frame 5, Miku's first appearance after 3, and a game that takes place almost two decades later. The decision has been controversial to say the least, and Shibata, the series creator, knew he would cop a lot of flack for it, but stuck to his guns and kept Mafuyu as the father. But according to Shibata himself, that wasn't always going to be the case. Amakura K was briefly considered, but then the idea dropped before it even went anywhere, because it didn't work with the narrative. But could it have? Well, let's take a look. Hinasaki Miyu is a shadowborn, meaning that one of her parents was a ghost. This greatly limits who her father could have been, as the only dead men in the series by the end of Fatal Frame 3 were Mafuyu and Yu. And Yu was engaged today and would have been wildly out of character for both him and Miku to have a child together. In one ending, Kei disappears presumably sucked into the Manor of Sleep's curse, yet in the other ending, he survives. And this is the one Shibata considers canon. So to make K a ghost, we'd have to accept the bad ending, but this still presents a problem. Miku and K hadn't met by this point. K only shows up at Dei and Yu's house after Miku had already gone into her type of dream coma from which she doesn't awake until the end of the game. They don't really know each other, so they would have still had to have met immediately after Kay died and then instantly conceive a child together. It's too big of a stretch to sell, no matter how you put it. This doesn't make it impossible, however, just under these particular circumstances. Miku and Kay do meet at the end of the good ending, so if Shibata really wanted Kay to be the father, he could have put them together after this, although it would still require killing Kay to get the ghost union. In terms of pure logistics, this could have easily happened off screen if he really wanted it to. Yet he didn't. Why? The answer is presented in game. Miku needed a really good reason to want to take part in the ghost marriage ritual. 
Having a shadow born in the Fatal Frame universe results in the living parent's death shortly thereafter. Perhaps not in a year or two, but they don't live much longer than that. The act of giving birth to a Shadowborn reduces the living parent's lifespan, so Miku realized her end was approaching and she needed a good enough reason to want to partake in Yukon, or ghost marriage. That reason, of course, was to end her brother's suffering. Miku's purpose across two whole games was to look for and save her brother. She failed the first time, and the second time around, she decided that being with him as a ghost was preferable to living. There was no other character in the Fatal Frame universe that held as much weight with Miku as her brother. Miku giving her life up to save Kei some perceived suffering could have been done, yes, but it wouldn't have held the same weight as dear old Oni-chan. Ultimately, Kei could easily have been Miyu's father, and it wouldn't have taken much to make it work in the story, but it would have lacked the depth of Miku and Mafuyu's history and relationship with each other. This is likely the reason Shibata went with the controversial choice, rather than the safe but less poignant one. Another option for Miyu's parentage, of course, could have been entirely different parents. Sticking with the Shadowborn theme, she could very easily have been Nei and Yu's child instead. No other Shadowborn would have made as much sense than this union, but the problem here is that Nei isn't as important to the Fatal Frame series as Miku is. This union would have made far more sense, but again, lacked the dramatic weight that Miku brings to the series, as the original and only constantly returning protagonist. Personally, I understand the decision and honestly don't mind it so long as I don't think about it too much, but I think some of the other options would have been interesting to explore as well, particularly making Miyu the child of you and Nei instead. But what do you guys think about this one? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you again next time.